Hello everyone, this is take two of part two of my um, video game introduction of um, Cosmos, Sage of the Multiverse. So, if you remember, the coolest ending of the introduction ever happened ever in a story, most epic anyway, Cosmos destroyed the entire universe by eliminating the strong force in nature. So what we're going to do, we're going to skip this introduction now, and go straight to where he destroyed the entire universe. So remember, have your fluctuator equipped. Anyway, so he wakes up in a universe of nothing. Um, I'm alive, everything is black. What the heck's going on? How long has it been? So he's kind of bewildered, you know, kind of like waking up after his sleep. So is this an afterlife? How do I have my mind without my body? So it's a cool thought experiment. Um, imagining your mind without a body, which is possible to do. Um, but it's hard to imagine your body without your mind, so that's kind of impossible. So he feels around, plays with himself. <laughs> anyway. Wait, I still feel my body. Oh yes. I remember. I made sure to leave enough energy in my flux to preserve my warp bubble. So remember, his warp bubble keeps all the laws in nature that keeps him alive in check. So the strong force does exist in his uh, warp bubble, keeping his atoms together. So, the threat, he's running out of food. If he runs out of food, he'll be dead forever inside a warp bubble. And that'd be the coolest way to go. I wouldn't mind going out like that. Anyway, I just need to figure out how to make a universe out of nothing before that happens. Kind of has to figure out how to be God at this point. So he starts to hear voices. Damn it, Hercules, don't eat it. That's my turn up. However, Eugenia, you can have my rabbit. Don't be mad, Hercules. Why can I? Anyway, so he's starting to, um, in the universe of nothing, um, you're going to experience sensory deprivation, right? And start hallucinating. Your mind comes up with nothing to stimulate the senses. Your mind just comes up with stuff to, to simu stim simulate your senses. So that's what's happening at Cosmos right now. So there's no light in this universe of nothing. So what you have to do is explode the anomalies by walking around until you could center them on the screen. So I'm moving left and right. You can't see anything, right? You can't even tell I'm moving, except when that appears. So what you try to do is try to center that. So what did you say? Clutchy oh. Rapid. The Okay, these are gr grayed out. Remember why they're grayed out? It's because you need to first equip your stone fluctuator. Your flux capacitor, man. Anyway. So first, we don't know what these are. We're gonna just try to shrink their atoms, right? Or shrink the sp space between their atoms. So we reduce the strong force. That didn't seem to do anything, so what's the next thing? Well, we'll try to increase the strong force. The atoms should be splitting apart, but they're not. You probably know, if you're thinking about this, why their atoms aren't splitting apart. It's because those things aren't even real. So, then, hmm, I wonder why I'm not dead. Maybe, it looks like I died, but they're just hallucinations, so how can he die? So, maybe Hercules gave me pity since they didn't have the rabbit, but Eugenia won't give Hercules any turnips. So he's getting caught up in the schizophrenic story. Um, so now he wants to find those turnips to cl clear his name. Of course, to us, this makes absolutely no sense, his story, but his story makes sense to him. In his world of schizophrenia, it makes sense. So I found the turnips. What the hell? Mutant turnips. So, we'll try... Ah, I skipped an important thing. Well, anyway, he starts putting two and two together, and he's starting to realize that, okay, I did, that these are hallucinations, they aren't real. So, realizing this, um, he gets his hopes up. Maybe some matter exists yet. That means that Lady Philomena may still be alive. I need to break out of these hallucinations. So now he's realizing, taking an objective stance, that these can't be real doesn't even make sense. What's a mutant turn? It doesn't even make sense. That can't even exist in our laws of nature. Well, maybe they can, but it's for all intents and purposes. So, you get your first ability, your first psychological ability, deny. So you deny its existence. Which makes sense, because these are hallucinations. They don't exist. So, but why does he still feel pain? The Matrix thing. I use the Matrix excuse. If you hurt the mind, the body can't survive. So, 
notice he gets a life drain from this. One is to, you know, balance it, otherwise he horribly die in these battles. And two, I give it legitimate reason because he feels better as he starts to re uh, refuse, refuse these hallucinations. Now I know how these testaments were written, and people were just high. My punch at the Bible. I need to wake up and get out of here. These hallucinations are starting to feel more real by the second. And remember, he gets his hopes up from Philomena still being alive. Guess what happens? He starts to hear a voice. Cosmos, I'm down here, just below you. Philomena, is that you? I'm coming. So his hallucinations found his Achilles heel, right? So they're trying to get Cosmos to believe that they're real by using his girlfriend as bait. So center this thing. Alright. Philomena, what happened to you? Cosmos, please save me. Hercules used the Clatchy Rabbit. Clatchy, it's just a word I made up. Clatchy, I don't know what it means. You gave him, kind of like a dire wolf. It's like, they're just like a wolf, but dire. It's a rabbit, but Clatchy. <laughs> And Eugenia used and Eugenia used the turnips just as a decoy to get you distracted. You got captured by the clutchy rabbit? Wait a minute, mutant turnips? Grumbles. And he's like, yeah, this doesn't make sense, does it? It can't be real. What do you mean I'm not real? I'm not good at doing it, girl, I'm sorry, but You are not You are not making any sense. This is my soul begging for you. Save me from Hades soon. Okay, I do a bad girl voice. I'm not doing that again. Anyway. Oh, Philomena, I don't mean to betray your love. Um, I really do want to believe you are for real. Maybe we, you are right and we're two souls stuck together in a purgatory. If so, I will never let you become the bride of Hades. So Cosmos is rationalizing. He's like, maybe these are spirits. Who knows? And, um, and then if, you know, if they are spirits, then Philomena says, then you must accept my soul's existence as a living truth. Otherwise, you have nothing to rescue and I'm already dead forever. So now you learn your second psychological skill, uh, acceptance. So I make a note here. In a multiverse where the laws of physics and nature vary greatly, knowing what's real and not real, either by hallucination or illusion, is key to effective battle strategy and one's sanity. Some phenomenon uh, may appear unimaginable under a specific universe's laws, and in another universe, the same phenomena can be very commonplace. Whenever you see odd immunities or high resist resistances on a phenomenon, a reality check with the nine acceptance is usually a good place to start to find a phenomenon's weakness. In general, attack what's real and deny things that aren't. So this is cool. Psychology now plays a role in this game. Once identified, the mob in question will be tagged accordingly. Psyche shifts do not require a fluctuator to use, since it's just the brain, you don't need a tool for that. So, remember, reality will not always be so black and white as you travel. And this is where this game gets really philosophical. So you have a choice, you could accept that your girlfriend's real, or deny that she's not real. Logically, you know, you want to deny, which is actually the right choice, but from what I remember, acceptance, I have a like, more funner selection. So you believe that she's real. Oh, my mind! The voice are, voices are becoming stronger. And then another voice speaks inside Cosmos' head. Clotchy Rabbit's voice. Fool! Cosmos, you fell right for my trap. I have your precious Philomena right here. And that rabbit he's hallucinating appears as this evil demonic thing. Oh man, I searched a bunch of pictures to find a demonic looking rabbit. <laughs> a bunch of pictures to show her decapitated head. You liar, you really are the clutchy rabbit. Mmm, she's tasty, her soul is mine. Ah, why did you let him do this to me, Cosmos? See, you should have just denied her existence, and then, then all this pain in her soul won't be happening. Oh, get out of my head! None of you are real! So... Now this is, he's starting to live a hell since you accepted her existence and she really wasn't hell. These hallucinations are backfiring. So, you have to deny both Philomena's decapitated head <laughs> and the freaky rabbit. So, let's start denying. This is a kind of a hard battle to win. So, let's kind of luck, and hopefully you don't get confused, because then you lose control of your character, and you just die. You do not exist! So we need, must refuse these things, work at refusing these things! 
So this is a cool, fun little twist on turn base. Ah, he got confused. I'm gonna die. Yeah, he died. Game over. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm gonna continue, and this time we're not. We're gonna deny the existence. So we can skip the battle. So this time we're gonna hit deny. She's not real. Cosmo sobs. How could you deny her love? You're not real. And then he reassures himself. I was right. She's just another figment of my imagination. So you go through, and you actually do hit um, deny. I don't know what happens if you hit acceptance. I don't know if I programmed anything there or not. Anyway. Yay, you're now level 2. We don't have to do that. So this all feels like a nightmare. It must be effects of sensory deprivation. I need to keep refusing these odd phenomena or I will end up in a comatose state. Ugh, no, these hallucinations are getting worse. So, you're, now this is his uh, sensory deprivation effects are peaking. So, he's about, Cosmos is about to enter a, an extreme state of psychosis. For all you know, Cosmos is simply in a nightmare, or that Cosmos is really in a state of sensory deprivation after supposedly destroying the entire universe. So, I'm, it's even questionable now to him, like, did he even destroy the universe? Who knows? Uh, either way, you have to center each psyche phenomenon on your screen and contend with it to regain sanity so you can get this chaos straightened out. Tip, it is a good idea to save after each battle. And if you haven't already, don't forget to check your inventory. Something may have just appeared there. So, I have to deny all the... Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, all this craziness is happening. Um, so, these are... He's hallucinating incredibly. What you're supposed to do is walk around and kill each thing. Um, but say to check our inventory, right? And we need to save after each battle since it's pretty much luck if you win or lose no strategy just luck um so oh luck what appeared there quantum energy huh curious can we use it uh right now i have it just healing you oh that's a good old idea probably i actually wanted those to have a little bit more effect than just healing you but Anyway, quantum in it's like just appeared in there, some quantum energy. That's kind of odd. How does something come from nothing? It's a universe of nothing. Anyway, so, hallucination of the Grim Reaper. Your soul is mine. So, pretty much you have to deny everything. There's no acceptances in any of these. So, to keep you in the on your toes, I made these battles. Um, kind of spamming battles, but but it's luck whether you win, because you can get... There can be some close calls where you lose control of your character because he simply loses his mind. Ah, here's another thing. You'll never escape my purgatory. You're stuck here with me in the underworld with your Lady Philomena as my bride for eternity. Real Philomena, so... See? I said she was real. Hmm, yes, my love. You will never let me down, unlike Cosmos. So she's falling for Hades. Remember? Like, remember that's the whole ritual at the beginning? Giving Philomena to Hades, so is this the afterlife? Hear that, Cosmos? I offer you a chance to atone for your sins against your lady Philomena. Hmm, except the reality that your soul is stuck here with me in the underworld, and I might just let you have your beloved Philomena. What do you say? So, are you gonna accept that you're in hell or not? We're gonna deny that we're in hell before this becomes like a Dante's Inferno. It's Cosmos, why do you keep condemning my soul from you? Cause you're not real, bitch! You're not real, goddammit! Anyway, Cosmos is now level 3. So we're gonna save again. So, free victory there by denying her. Yeah, they each do. I have them to try to say something stupid whenever possible. Cool, we get rid of one. Oh no, I'm dying. Am I gonna die? Ugh, 30 life left. Can he make it? Can he make it? Oh, he was one shot. See what I mean? Kind of keep you on your toes. 
116 life. Yes, he made it. Alrighty. Gonna use some of this quantum energy to put him back at full. Oh, it's a chance that he gets life back. Okay, so it's not a definite heal. That quantum energy could heal ya. Alright, let's go find our sanity. Ooh, let's go after that lightning bolt. Center that lightning bolt. Okay, some more weird hallucinations. Uh, freaky cockatrice, freaky. So everything that's a hallucination, I mean, freaky. Oh no, I got confusion. That sucks, so that's probably. Yeah, you, you can't control your character, he's confused now. This hallucination's got to him. So game over, tier. But we saved, right? So we could just start right there. Ugh. Get revenge on this lightning bolt. We're gonna attack the Will Wisp first. Good, one shot it. So there is a little strategy to this, it's not just luck. If you can't one shot a thing. And you die, won't go back and try the other monster. Ah, oh, he's confused. Maybe there's a chance he might survive. Yes, he got broke out of the confusion. Cool. Yeah. So yeah, that was that had a little bit of strategy. If I attacked the cockatrice first again, I would have died. But this time he didn't die. Let's heal up again. Good, the first time it worked. And then actually, if you want to play really well, just save before you use one of those quantum energies. And if it doesn't work, reload and then type of thing. Alright. Well, now that we know these Will Wisps can be one shotted, we'll attack those first. Hey, level four. Okay, save again. I will go to that V-looking thing. Imagine that these things, like, if it was like a real uh, 3D game, how that, how cool they would look in a 3D game. But fortunately, I'm only one man creating this, and I do not have my whole. That was a cool, freaky Charlie Brown picture I found. So that's like, I included that. Mm -hmm, just accept me and I'll um, make all your erotic desires come true with Lick's tongue. What is a game without sex appeal? For all of, all of us nerds that can't get laid in real life. Alrighty. Saving that. This is really cool too because uh oh he's confused. Yippee. And I try to kind of like add some sneak stuff in there, like that werewolf appearing after the first attack. And you die. Okay, at least we saved it. Yep, can't be a crybaby about losing with this game. It's meant to lose. That's what is a game if it's not. You don't lose. Alrighty. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, so there's a that strange will o' wisp. It's now called a quantum disturbance, and this is a little secret. Can get rid of one of these fairies. I don't remember how I designed it, but the the knife wouldn't work on the quantum disturbance. 
Why? Because it's actually a real thing. So we're gonna actually do one of our real abilities. Play a, uh, try to, you know, change the force of physics on him. And he died. And no, you have found a quantum quark. Save these to make different universes. Ooh, so this shed some light on how Cosmos is gonna be able to create universes later in this game. And thus, he'll become a sage of the multiverse. Quantum Quark. So now that's added into your inventory. There's no functionality to these yet, since this is just an intro game. Yeah, I just put that as a key item. But, I'm battling in my head still, like, how will I actually give him the, would I just make it like just part of a walkthrough story, how it creates universes, or give some player in the control of that. But that's another quantum um, disturbance, right? So let's collect another one of these quantum quarks and do a real physics ability on it. Ah, uh, but see, you're at risk when trying to capture one of those things. You could get confused. Yes, we got lucky. He broke out of it. Found our second quantum quark. We're going to be able to create cool universes soon. And let's actually create a universe right, not like how the Hebrew god did with all this fucked up shit and people killing each other and all that. Maybe Cosmos can actually create a better universe than God. At least that's the point of this game. Fire chick. Accept my reality and I'll fulfill your lustful desires no matter hot and steamy. <laughs> Again, two of all, all, all the nerds. I can't get laid. Don't worry, no, no insult, I include me in that statement. Then sexy water lady. Mmm, Cosmos, you make me so... <laughs> oh god. I'm not gonna finish that. <laughs> Splashes you. Come on, accept me. <laughs> if I ever get some like pro some professional help in producing this game, yeah, probably some of that stuff I'd have to take out. But as long as it's freelance, might as well leave the bad jokes in there. That make it rated R. Cool. No, no, not against the werewolf. We know we already hurt the gargoyle one, so the second time we'll probably finish him off. Nope. I tricked the player with him. Of course I do. But the third time. Yes, okay, he did that. Alright, that was a more intense battle. Save again. Now these phenomena are starting to disappear. Are there any left? <gasps> Look at that. Just a solitary glowing thing. Kind of looks like a star, doesn't it? Well, let's center that. You have found a quantum singularity. And save the file. And this is where I have it ended. This is all I made so far. So, the first level, the first universe I'm going to create, I'm going to give you kind of a um, uh, for, uh, foretell about the idea I'm having right now. Since he's in the universe of nothing, the first universe, the physical law I'm going to change is to have time go backwards. So, the most common theory about the today of the fate of the universe is that since the... Um, Edwin Hubble, he found that the universe is expanding, and not only just expanding, but expanding exponentially because of a phenomenon called dark energy. So, the, the proposed theory of the fate of the universe is in like a Google years or something, the, all, the, all the stars and everything will be uh, spread out so far that um, all the energy will just eventually evaporate and um, into a cold nothingness. That's what they call the big freeze is the most widely accepted 
omnipotent fate of the universe. So what this is going to do is going to play off that and um, off the big freeze is um, that going backwards. So imagine going backwards from the big freeze. So each star would die slowly one at a time and um, and and everything will end up in black holes and those black holes will die off one at a time so play that backwards imagine that backwards going backwards you would start seeing stars appearing one at a time right so what I'm gonna do is slowly making stars appear one at a time and how can you physically go backwards um, in time one way is a theorized pro particle called I think like a neutrino or something like that where it's theorized they actually do go backwards in time and um, and this means that they're faster than the speed of light so anything that goes backwards in time would be faster than the speed of light right since you know the closer you get to the speed of light time slows down so to go backwards in light you'll be faster than the speed of light and so it'd be things just ex so what would be a creature that c would just simply exist faster than the speed of light and what I'm going to make are these um, hypothetical creatures that exist faster than the speed of light called um, light chasers. And um, so in their law of physics, in the light chaser law of physics, light's not the fastest speed you could possibly go. It's the slowest speed you could co possibly go. So that's why they're called light chasers. They're continuously chasing after this light that goes so slow that they can't even stand how anything could go slow, slower than light. So with time going backwards, you're chasing light, you're gonna Cosmos is gonna find these light chasers. And I'll write a story intermingling with them and how they work and and what I'm gonna do as and Cosmos is gonna learn this universe of, of their end. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna trace it back, it will keep going. Getting, go back to the past and like the light chasers laws of physics like the creation to them isn't a big bang it's just and it's actually it's feasible to them just creation is just one star appearing at a time it almost seems more natural more intuitive their type of creation than it would be for our creation instead of just everything at once just created one little thing at a time that's how the universe is created and um so as he goes backwards in time, their theory of the end of the universe wouldn't be the big freeze like it's our theory. It'll actually be the big crunch. Everything in the matter will be slowly coalescing because of gravity but into one single thing, and and it'll co and it'll all the matter big crunches into what we call the big bang. They call it the big crunch. And then Cosmos will end up seeing the birth of the universe from this backwards universe, which is the Big Bang. And he even I'll come up with an excuse of what's on the other side of the Big Bang. That's hopefully a good. Um, I'll tr no, it won't be just an excuse. I'll try to come up with a reasonable explanation. And right now, I don't know if I want to give that spoiler. The idea I'm, I'll I'll give it. I'll probably change it later. The idea I'm leaning towards is that our universe is basically a white hole created from a black hole of another universe and I actually did map out a whole multiverse in this game where it's a string a, a bunch of universes that are connected together by black holes so a black hole from our universe is a big bang from to their universe and what's neat is this when I played this theory out it actually works that the universe would have actually would have been able to create itself because say we have universe A and out of universe A comes is a black hole that exists that gives birth to universe B and then universe B has a black hole that gives birth to universe C and then a black hole in universe C gives birth to universe A and that's the universe we're in right A so these that makes a circle it's an infant so we can understand it in a multiverse setting, uh, universe being able to be existed in a circle, and I'm going to draw that out on the diagram and 
that's going to be what Cosmos slowly figures out as he maps uh, the entire multiverse out between bl with black holes and big bangs. So that's the premise of the game. If you like this idea and have any power, you could hook me up with some sort of professional development game because it'd be so cool if it's like a professional 3D development type of thing instead of just this little one person indie game because there's only so much I could do. If you know anybody that likes the idea or if you have a programming team that would be interested in that, that could be a part of. Um, I am a programmer as well as a musician. I just got my master's in computer information systems and, uh, and, um, and I also have a support of associates I got in the same semester in programming so it would be a fantastic project. I would love to be my job one day but so, you know anybody that'd be interested in this idea, let me know. Or if you are yourself and part of a programming team, by any luck, let me know. Hot, we'll get this idea going. So, thank you very much. My name is Anthony Walter, aka my moniker is Maestro Anth in the online world. And hopefully, got a rise out of this video. Thank you for visiting and watching. Bye bye.